Okay everyone, so in this lecture we're going to install the Google Cloud SDK. Now, what is this SDK and why do we need it? Well, whenever you develop a website, you always want to be developing and testing your application on your personal computer and then when you test it out and you feel it's working the way it should, you can then go ahead and push the code onto production servers. We call this process deploying your application to production servers, okay? So essentially, we are setting up our development environment. That is the process of installing all the different components we need to be able to run our applications on our local computer, test them, and then deploy them to Google's production servers, or for that matter, to any uh, production server, although we will be working with Google. Okay, so the first thing you need to install, and basically the only thing you need to install, is the Google Cloud SDK. This is all the software I was talking about that will allow us to run our applications on our computers and then once we're ready to, de to deploy the application to Google servers. So to access the Google Cloud SDK download page or the install page, go ahead and go to cloud.google.com forward slash SDK. I'll leave this URL also in the lecture notes. Okay, so for you Windows users, you need to come down here and download the Google Cloud SDK installer for Windows. Now, this is basically just as any installer on a Windows computer. You just go ahead and run it, click next, 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 maybe uh, accept the terms and conditions. And after you've done all of that, this should leave a shortcut to a Google Cloud SDK shell on your desktop. And once you are there and you vote open this up, we will go through the G Cloud auth login process together, okay? For Linux and Mac users, it's also very simple. All we need to do is just copy this command and we are going to paste it into our terminal. What is the terminal? Well, basically just go ahead and search for the terminal program. On Mac and Linux, it's called terminal. So once you found it, open it up and the terminal is basically a program which we use to write in commands that the computer then goes ahead and executes them, okay? Throughout this course, you'll see that I'll be using iTerm instead of Terminal, which is basically the exactly the same thing as Terminal, although I prefer using this one. It's just personal preference, okay? Okay, so once we're here, we go ahead and paste this command, and Google Cloud will start downloading the SDK. Now it's asking me where do I want to install this, in which directory. I'm going to go ahead and leave this by default as is, and what this will do is install the SDK on my home directory. My home directory is the directory of the user I'm using, which is Michael. And I suggest you do the same, because it will be a little bit easier to follow along in the next courses where we will need to reference the SDK. If you want to install it somewhere else, it doesn't matter, you may do so, but please remember where you install it because it's going to be important, okay? Having said that, let's go ahead and install it. It's asking me if I want to remove it because I already have it installed. It will probably not ask you this, so... Okay, do I want to help improve Google? Yes. Okay, now it's going and installing the different components of the SDK. Okay, great. Now it's asking me, where is the file that configures this terminal? So if you haven't installed a custom or a different client, terminal client, leave this as default. I'm going to leave it as default as well. Great. Now it's asking me to modify certain things in this configuration file, which will make using the gcloud commands a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes on both of them and we are all set and ready to go. This is really exciting. Okay, so before we actually can go ahead and start using the gcloud commands, we need to restart our terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-Q, okay, and reopen up my terminal. Make this a little bit bigger. And now we can, we can actually log into our account. So to do that, we are going to type gcloud auth login. So that's gcloud A-U-T-H login, okay? Great. This should open up a new tab in our browser, which it does, and asks us which account do we want to use to log into our gcloud services or Google Cloud services. 
So I'm going to go ahead and hit my personal account. It's asking us a bunch of permissions, which I'm going to accept. And we are all set and ready to go. This is pretty, pretty nice. Okay. So the last thing we need to do is we need to install some additional components that did not come by default when we installed the SDK. So to do that, we are going to type in gcloud components update app and this is it. Okay. So again, this is gcloud components app, sorry, gcloud components update app. Okay. And these are all of the components that we are going to install. We will be using a couple of them, especially the Python extensions and the app engine command line interface. So let's go ahead and hit yes. And it will start to download all of these components and install them for us. Okay. And since this will take a while, because these files are, are kind of big, I'm going to go ahead and just skip the video. Okay. And it is finished. So with three commands we have installed the google cloud sdk this is super nice so hopefully by now you're seeing that getting app engine installed is really really easy there is no more configuration we need to do there is well actually we haven't done any configuration at all but we don't have to configure anything we just needed to install this sdk with the additional components and that is it so next lecture, we're going to go ahead and actually create our first application and run it. We are going to run our application in the moment that we create it. So you'll see that it's so, so easy to get up and running with App Engine. This is one of the reasons why I really love Google App Engine.